Welcome to interview questions on statistics. So today's question is describe the one way and two way ANOVA test in detail. So we have seen what is ANOVA test basically where we compare multiple groups, the population means of multiple groups. So within ANOVA, we actually have two methods or two different strategies. One of them is one way ANOVA and the other one is two way ANOVA. So let's look at them one by one. So one way ANOVA is also termed as one way analysis of variance. So in this type of ANOVA test, we generally compare one independent variable with another dependent variable. So we only, that means we are technically cat, uh, considering only one categorical variable here. So in this kind of test, we just consider one categorical variable and technically, it is possible to compare the means of three or more samples, but yeah, it still works with this one way in our test as well. So most of the time you could say the one way in our test will also be very helpful with the null hypothesis. Uh, I mean, your hypothesis testing in general, where we try have, try to prove one of the hypothesis true or false. So the null hypothesis would be Let's say if you're trying to compare the means of different groups, so the null hypothesis would be all population means are equal. And obviously the alternate hypothesis would be at least one of the means would be different. So this is one way ANOVA test. Now, on the other hand, we have two way ANOVA test. So you could say this two way ANOVA test is basically ANOVA test, but it's like an extension of ANOVA test. So this is also termed as two-way analysis of variance, right? So in one way in our test, we generally compare one independent with a dependent variable, but in two-way in our test, we have two independent variables and we compare them at the same time with a dependent variable, basically. So that is the difference between one way and two way. So we generally investigate the influence of two independent variables on a dependent variable. So that's what I mean by two-way analysis. And it can also find if there actually exists any sort of interrelationship between those independent variables. So we can also find out the relationship. So if you're obviously, if you're having multiple independent variables, there, there is bound to be some relation between them. So we can also find that relation using this two way in our test. Now let's look at the examples for both of them. So let's look at one way in our test, right? And let's say we are trying to grow some crops. So we're trying to grow some crops and we need to add fertilizers to it. So for the fertilizers, fertilizers we have three different types, three or three different mixtures. So let's say they are F1, F2 and F3. So what we want to do is we want to increase the crop yield. So the fertilizers would be your independent variable. Your independent variable and your crop yield would be your dependent variable. So basically your independent variable and dependent variable, we are going to find or we are going to perform the one way in our where we have one independent and one dependent variable. On the other hand, your two-way ANOVA will actually involve multiple independent variables. So let's say a company, so a company wants to check on the performance or the work productivity or workers productivity. So how well they're doing the work and how fast or how quick they are or how efficient they are and all this thing. So it's all part of your workers productivity level. And your, your company wants to assess that. And let's say you have multiple uh, independent variables or factors affecting this workers productivity, like uh, for example, the gender, the gender and the department. So this gender and department will become your independent variable. 
where else your productivity this is what we are trying to find your work productivity this will be your dependent variable so this is one of the best examples or a simple example for a two way and ANOVA test